Hello all, today I am going to present the second lecture on pulmonary drug delivery system. In my previous lecture, I have already discussed respiratory system and lungs morphology. Now I will elaborate why we use pulmonary roots, uh, why not um, other roots like oral, intravenous, etc. That is the advantages of pulmonary roots and the mechanism of drug deposition. So, why pulmonary root? Recently, pulmonary root becomes an attractive route of administration of drugs due to various beneficial effects. The drugs which are to given in lungs for respiratory disorders such as cystic fibrosis, lung cancer, uh, asthma, etc. COPD. So, uh, in uh, for such cases, we have to uh, reach, we have to provide larger drug concentration in the lungs than the other body parts. In fact, lungs are competent entry point for drugs to the bloodstream due to following reasons. Number one, due to large surface area of absorption about 100 meters squared in adult human. It is beneficial for drug absorption more. The very thin absorption membrane which drug has to cross is 0.1 to 0.2 micrometer only. And the blood flow is very high that is 5 liter per minute which rapidly helps to allocate the molecules all over the body. Moreover, lung reveals fairly low local metabolic activity in contrast to the other route of administration. And pulmonary inhalation do not subject it to first pulse metabolism as in oral drug delivery. The advantages of pulmonary drug delivery are numerous. Some of them are number one, we can directly deliver the drug to the affected area in case of lung disorders or respiratory diseases. It is purely non-invasive, needle-free drug delivery system. So patient compliance will be more, obviously. We can get quick onset of drug action. And with quick onset, we can get rapid clinical response. This route is suitable for delivery of wide range of molecules, that is, Smaller drugs and larger molecules both can be delivered by pulmonary route. The dose of drug is reduced by when we give by pulmonary route. As a result of that, the systemic toxicity or side effects also reduced. Next is we can bypass the hepatic first pulse metabolism. Additionally, much reduced hostile environment is present in lungs in comparison to the oral routes for most drugs, especially for protein and peptide drugs. The surface area for drug absorption is more, much more, that is 140 meters square in case of pulmonary route and highly permeable membrane of 0.2 to 0.7 micrometer thickness in the alveolar region. Next is solubility of the product can be maintained while administering a dose. Low enzymatic environment in pulmonary region and then is this route is independent of dietary complications, extracellular enzymes and interpatient GI metabolism. That is in case of oral or IV, we uh, provide uh, patients some information that do not take this food with uh, grapes or um, take this uh, drug with uh, before food or take this drug after food. This is uh, not required in case of pulmonary delivery. And there is better protection against drug degradation by oxygen and moisture. The stability is enhanced for labile substances. Although there are many advantages, there are some limitations as well. So these limitations uh, of drug delivery to lungs are important while designing an effective pulmonary drug delivery system. One of the limitations are oropharyngeal settlement that might give a local adverse effect. 
next patient may face trouble while uh, using the delivery devices correctly so uh, expert um, who can uh, advise them or who can train them is necessary always and third is reproducibility may affect the drug delivery system and it varies on the physiological and pharmaceutical factors because such deviations may be undesirable for drugs with small therapeutic index which may cause toxicity the drug absorption may be limited due to the barrier action of the mucus and drug mucus interaction next limitation is mucus ciliary clearance that diminishes the retention time of drug within the lungs which may affect the pharmacological efficacy of slowly absorbed drugs and finally the lungs are not easily reachable surface for drug delivery and complex delivery devices are required for targeted delivery so designing of such devices and to optimize them is very complicated but uh, it is possible uh, to give uh, via pulmonary route now when we uh, give uh, a drug in solution or suspension on in dry powder formulation and um, give it via pulmonary route depending on the uh, various factors they reach the different areas of respiratory system so respiratory deposition of inhaled drug particles in the lungs is very complex and deposition is based on many factors some of the factors are breathing rate lung volume respiration volume health of the subject air airway bifurcation leading to constant changing of hydrodynamic flow of fluid so these are some factors which may influence the deposition of the particles over the pulmonary system or respiratory system so depending on the particle size respiratory air flow and structural position in the respiratory system lung deposition occurs via one of the any principal mechanisms number one mechanism is impaction so in case of larger particles the airway bifurcates each time and suspended particles travel along their original path due to inertia or mass and impact on the airway walls number two is sedimentation sedimentation is settling down of particles in the smaller airways the rate of sedimentation is based on the low air flow rate mainly in the smaller airways low air flow rate tends to change the terminal velocity and ultimately sedimentation occurs interception interception occurs when a drug particle contacts on airway surface depending on the, its physical size and shape number 4 is diffusion diffusion is a primary mechanism of deposition where particles grow from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration due to brownian motion the diffusional depositions occur mostly in nasopharynx and most likely in the smaller airways finally absorption lung is the most permeable to macromolecules including many more therapeutic peptides and proteins than any other portal of entry into the body particularly peptides that have been chemically altered to inhibit peptidase enzyme exhibit very high bioavailability by pulmonary route small molecules that are highly soluble and cationic can exhibit prolonged absorption so in case of pulmonary delivery small molecule with higher solubility and which are cationic in nature they only shows prolonged absorption and for other we have to choose any delivery method or any drug delivery carriers such as nanoparticles liposomes etc thank you for watching in my next class I will discuss the salient features of pulmonary absorptive surfaces. So please keep watching. Thanks.